Hey you guys, welcome back to the greatest bird show on earth, or at least the greatest pheasant show on earth, right? Hey you guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Ben from Spittin' Tracks Pheasantry. And if you all new here, I raise exotic pheasants. I raise some peafowl, we got some chickens, we also have some quail. But um, yeah, I just like to share my experiences with you guys. And if you learn something, that's cool. And if not, hey, at least um, I'm here to entertain you. So, what is this show about today? Uh, this show is about Mr. Electric, my yellow golden pheasant. And if y'all don't know about him, go look at some of my old videos. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. He's uh, creating a lot of buzz online. And um, people have been asking about him lately. So I want to do this video just about him. I've done other ones just about him before. But uh, we're going to do it again, guys. So uh, get ready to be shocked. All right, so Mr. Electric's pen is over there. The world famous yellow golden pheasant. Now, his neighbors... Our Popeye, another yellow golden pheasant, and some Nepal Kalish. So um, let's go pay him a visit. There's that old tub. I need to get rid of that. I know it's an eyesore. I'll get on it, guys. But here we are, Mr. Electric. This one's about you, buddy. They're asking a lot about you. Now, usually when I come out here with the camera, he just starts dancing. He knows it's showtime. It's kind of early. So uh, this old boy needs to warm up a little bit. Let's get in there and uh, visit him a while. What do you say, Mr. Electric? You gonna dance for us today? Now, Mr. Electric here, I had him for a while now. He's not an old bird, but he is definitely mature. Ain't that right, big buddy? And I'm hoping he'll put on a show for us today. Because usually he does when I come out with the camera. But he's just waking up. So we'll see how it goes. Mr. Electric, you want some treats or something, bud? To help you out? So this log right here, that's Mr. Electric's throne. He stands up there and he looks at all the birds as if to say, hey, I am king around here. Let's go get him some treats. Kevin, Thelma, and Louise, they want some more food. I just fed them, but now they heard me say treats, so they're all up in my business, you know what I'm saying? So, Kevin, how you doing there, buddy? Say hi to the world. Say hi to your fans, Kevin. All right, guys, so we have some millworms here for Mr. Electric. Um, thought we would, you know, encourage him to liven up a little bit for us. So let's give him some millworms. Electric, want some millworms, buddy? There you go, tear it up. There he is, the king on his throne. All right, ladies. Mr. Electric is being a little camera shy this morning. Do you guys want some millworms? Come on. There you are, sweetie. Oh, get some of that. Here's Mr. Electric. Now his roost is up high. So they definitely get their exercise in these aviaries. Well, here's a different view, huh? Mr. Electric, come on down, buddy. Boom, whack you with the tail. I think Mr. Electric's a little slow to get started this morning, but we'll give him time. We're patient. Hey, Mr. Electric, you got something for us? I think I'm gonna have to go get some treats for him, liven him up a little bit, entice him to put on a little show for us, okay? They haven't seen me all week, I've been working so much, so uh, my presence in here is a little surprising to them, so they're adjusting to me all over again sometimes, but it won't take that long. 
uh, as you can see, he's he's warming up. Yeah, it's the way Mr. Electric is. He's he's uh, always down to put on a show for us. But this morning, he's just a little slow to react. You gonna do something for us, Mr. Electric? Oh, he's got that cape opened up. That means he's getting close. He's starting to feel it. Let me tell you guys an interesting fact about my yellow goldens. Now, the shoulder area, the back feathers right there, on my yellows, like Mr. Electric, his is gray to a light blue. Now, and Popeye over there, he's, his shoulder area, it's like a more of a bright blue, more colorful, prettier than Mr. Electric's. But what's interesting about that is on the standard red golden pheasant, or just golden pheasant, Chinese golden pheasant, that same feathering right there on the shoulders is an emerald green. So it's kind of interesting how that happened. This color mutation off the red goldens uh, also affected that shoulder coloring as well, and not just the red coloring. You know what I mean? Yeah, interesting. You see that right there? Yeah, I'm gonna get some more treats for him. Mr. Electric, he's starting to charge for a show now. He don't work for free. We got some awesome news, guys. Now, George, our silver pheasant, the one with Bumblefoot, he is improving, like, significantly. Like, he is making a good comeback. He's got a little limp, but still, he is improving. And an improvement means, you know, we're on our way up. So, uh, I was really worried about him, you know. Um, but, yeah, he's coming through, guys. Check him out. George, how we doing, dude? There you go. You're walking a whole lot better, dude. You see him, guys? He's looking so much better. Now, he likes my wife better than me. I know this by now, because he runs away from me, and he's there at the door greeting my wife anytime she comes up with treats. So, yes, so he is getting a lot better. And, uh, yeah, just really, uh, really happy about that. I want to share that with you guys. Hey, George. See, before he was not even he was barely putting any pressure on that foot and now he is uh just going about his day with a little limp and uh yeah i think we're just on our way up from here everything we did guys if you guys can take anything from it you learn anything from it that's awesome but uh yeah now i can say i've actually been through this before with the bumble foot thing Come on, George. All right, now isn't that just awesome? I mean, seriously, guys, that's pretty cool. We'll get some more footage of him, and um, I'll keep you guys updated on how he's doing. But um, I think we're all good, you know. So we're on the upside in that situation, and uh, we're gonna knock that bumblefoot out. Anyways, we're gonna get back to Mr. Electric and see what's going on with him. Oh, check her out. Now she likes Mr. Electric. Everybody likes Mr. Electric. You know why? Because he has energy and he has personality. And with personality, you know there's never a dull moment. You know? I like him. I like birds that entertain me. I like birds that have a personality and they don't bore me, you know? And uh, this is that bird right here.
Alrighty guys, there he is. There's Mr. Electric. And uh, he's not much in a dance mood as you can see. Just kind of mellow, but uh, he's still a beautiful bird to look at. Well, anyways, we'll get him on the next one. He'll never fail me again. He didn't fail me this time. He's just kind of mellowed out, you know. It's the way it is. And it's the time of year, you know. So, um, hey guys, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and follow along. And thanks for bird tripping with me. Once again, this is Ben from Spitting Tracks Pheasantry. Just saying thank you. Bye.